All right, guys, 24 hours ago, Cyclone fans were savoring one of the most impressive wins in the history of the men's basketball program at Iowa State. Now, that's saying a lot, but think of it. Houston was the number one team in the country, and the Cyclones shut them down like an adult bookstore in downtown Pella. <laughs> Cyclone fans could have paraded that win around for a year, could have made it into T-shirts, into slogans. They could have taken that win and called out their arch rival with it. They could have said, our win over Houston was bigger than any win that Iowa men's coach, any Iowa men's coach has achieved in the last 35 years, and they'd have been right. But alas, it's too late. That win vanished like a sugar cube dropped into a lake. It is gone. I mean, it's not gone, but the NCAA tournament selection show walked in and we dropped everything. Cyclone fans immediately moved on. And what a bummer that is. I mean, a conference tournament is a meat grinder. Three games in three days, and the Cyclones, in their case, they did it in the best conference in the country. A team could savor that for a whole season. <laughs> like a quarter beef in your basement deep freeze. Instead, it's in and out like a stick of juicy fruit. In the case of the Drake women, it's almost literally that fast. I mean, they won the Missouri Valley Tournament this afternoon. They got their bid to the NCAA Tournament at dinner time. <laughs> we forget about these so fast, it's almost like they never happened. I mean, remember when the Hawkeye men did it just two years ago? No, all we remember is that they went down a couple of days later to Richmond in the first round. Same with Steve Prohm's run in KC back in 2019. At its worst, a conference tournament championship can actually make a bad showing in the NCAA even worse. Think of it. Iowa State wins the Big 12 tourney in 2015, and by halftime of their first round game with UAB, the entire team was a mess. Iowa wins the Big 10 tourney in 2006, then gets embarrassed by some school called Northwestern State. We're still not sure where the heck that place was. <laughs> that is the most enduring Iowa basketball highlight since Dr. Tom's run back in 1998. And it's partially because the conference tournaments had us arms raised, eyes closed, and then we got punched in the mouth by the big dance. Many of us end up wishing our team had just lost in the conference tournament early and rested up for the big one. Well, it's too bad because weekends like this are too fun to forget, let alone regret. I'm Andy Fails, and that's what's bugging me.